Hey class, here is uh, just somewhat of a demonstration of what's going on with uh, lab today. So uh, ventilatory threshold and lactate. Right here is Michael, he's running on a treadmill. We have everything hooked up right there. I'll make sure everything's hooked up. You can see on that computer um, how that's where all of the data is actually gonna be acquired and we'll take down data every minute effectively. So that it, it'll be pretty easy to graph with uh, all of the different graphs that we're gonna end up uh, doing, just about three of them. Just trying to here give you all a couple of different ways of looking at this. There's a face mask that's put on right there, all of the data. Um, you have to be relatively close to the person try to make sure that uh, they stay on track. And now here is uh, uh, Mike on the bike. If someone chooses to do the bike instead, that's perfectly fine. Um, relatively easy for us to do. That, uh, that bike right there tells us the RPMs, which we'll have to maintain if someone is doing the bike. Um, again, that's everything hooked up on the metabolic cart and all of the data will be up on that computer right there. Here in a couple of seconds, I'm gonna show you how to take lactate. I was messing around in the lab and uh, um, I, I essentially just took lactate on myself. I'll probably end up being the person to take lactate on whoever is running. So here's me doing that to myself. We have these little lactate strips you have to get that ready, put that in the little handheld lactate analyzer. Pretty nifty thing that we got right there. Um, I'm just turning it on, and then you take a, uh, a little lancet and poke yourself in the finger, just some capillary blood. You wipe off the first strip, put it into the lactate analyzer, and it takes about 13 seconds for it to tell us how much lactate is in the blood. And if I remember right, it's like nine something, nine millimoles that I got. So I was trying to kill myself. All right, 9.4. Cool. See you in class.